Hi, my name is Chris Montgomery. I'd like to welcome you to a new series that we here at Throttle Lender are introducing called Three Cues. The idea behind this series ultimately is to be able to ask three high level questions to somebody with a technical background and get more information and detail and insight specific to those questions and how, in the example today, we can enhance or are enhancing the security across the networks that we service now and any networks that we're going to be taking on in the future. In today's episode, I have with me Todd Buddy, who is our Director of Managed Services. So the first question that most would ask is, what is IT plus security? Again, this is a core focus of what we as an organization are doing, and everybody defines this differently. Now, how we define it is pretty straightforward. IT plus security is our solution that provides business owners and organizations a full-time IT department that combines advanced network management services to keep your network running smoothly and to protect you from data loss, hacking, and ransomware. This allows you to focus on what you do best, which is running your business. So Todd, now that we've established what IT plus security is, what are some of the enhancements that we've either added or that we've always had there and maybe not really messaged very well out to our mm -hmm. viewers today as to what we can or have been doing for them? So give me some examples. So one example would be um, better malware protection uh, okay. through the use of DNS. Okay. What's, how does this solution work leveraging that mm -hmm. to provide better security? So this solution is going to push all of your users' DNS requests through a specific set of servers. Okay. Uh, and these servers scan websites to make sure they're not infected with any kind of malware or anything. So now what does this address? What, what issue or what is this going to protect against? So in addition to having you know, a firewall and antivirus, this is also going to protect you against getting some forms of malware. We now not only have the ability to address security-related issues and do group policies and otherwise at the domain level, mm -hmm and pushing those down, but we can also do those on the outer edges, if you will, of the wheel at the workstation level. Correct. So, And we'll continue to do both, uh, mm -hmm. obviously, right? But what this will really help with is if you have mobile users, okay. um, say they have laptops that they're taking out of the office and you want to push out a new policy, mm -hmm. uh, now we can do this because they have our agent installed on that laptop. We don't have to wait for them to check back into the office and get the new policy. Mm -hmm. We can push it out within three to five minutes. So, Todd, what is a, a final or a third enhancement or security offering that we are now including as part of our services? But Sure. The third one is pretty cool. It's better ransomware protection through isolation. Okay. So again, ransomware being the key word there. I think anytime anybody hears that term. Uh, we, we hear it quite a bit. Yeah. Here throughout for better or for worse, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how does it do that? How is it assisting with isolating ransomware incidents? So sure. How does that work? So we have a tool that, that places a hidden file in your My Documents folder. Okay. Uh, and that's constantly scanned. If okay. that scan notices a change, mm -hmm. um, that's going to be that's going to look similar to a ransomware outbreak. It's going to isolate that computer from the rest of your network, but mm -hmm. still allow ThrottleNet a way in to start cleaning up the issue. And the upside is this has happened automatically. So it's not a matter of us getting an alert, having to go in and isolate that PC. It's automatically Correct. isolating. Yep, it's triggered automatically. With advising us via alert that there's a problem so we can go and remediate that issue, yes. whatever it happens to mm -hmm. be, or at least check, is this truly a ransomware attack? Yeah, or and if it's not, something else? great. You know, we can... Yeah. Uh, unlock it and let the user continue on. So what do these enhancements mean to you and your business? Well, what it really means is that we can prevent users from going to infected websites, again, preventing you from malware attacks that are coming in just by going out and doing regular run-of-the-mill searches online. In addition, it can isolate workstations, but still providing us with a gateway into that workstation to resolve any issues we identify. Hypothetically, a ransomware attack occurs. It impacts the hidden file that Todd had referenced. We now have the ability to go in and specifically resolve that issue while keeping that workstation isolated from the remainder of the network. And then finally, we're able to establish policy specific to the end user and their workstation without having to worry about whether or not they're connected to the network, which allows us to do things on the fly, so to speak, in Correct. a much more timely manner as the needs present itself. But the end game here is, is that this is going to provide you with overall a higher level of security mm -hmm. and more specifically business continuity. Because if your network and your users experience less downtime, of course, that is going to ensure that you have more uptime and more uptime results in higher levels of productivity, efficiency, and profitability. So, Todd, I appreciate the time today. Thank you so much Thanks for coming for in me. and giving us some information on that and what that looks like. And I appreciate your time as well. And I look forward to seeing you next time on 3Qs.